We've traveled, you know, about 11,000 miles so far, and it's been amazing. We've been through Western Europe, through Eastern Europe, through Russia, through China, through Japan, and you know, there were tons of huge highlights in that portion. But there was something indescribable about landing in San Francisco. It's good. I'm excited to get some Pizza Hut pizza, so I'm ready. It feels really good to kind of be transitioning from the rugged portion of the run to the real fundraising portion of the run. We, saw, we see this guy running out of nowhere. Yeah, right in the middle of the And then I saw himself. this white arch and I said to Peter, what is that? And then we keep going and then we see, you know, it's this blue planet run, which frankly we hadn't known about. And now it's like we want to tell everyone about it. What this team is doing is unbelievable. runs around the entire world. It's just shocking and it's an incredible uh, way to, to, to really raise awareness. In the U.S. portion of the run, we're really trying to turn on the fundraising and it's been awesome. You know, there are tons of tourists and locals driving down the coast. We've been stopping everyone we can see and giving them stickers, giving them pins, giving them t-shirts and letting them know. And people have genuinely wanted to hear about safe drinking water. Okay. I think this is absolutely fantastic. I just stopped on the side of the road to find out exactly what they're doing. And you know what? Their cause is something that really needs to be addressed throughout the world. And obviously these guys are doing it, so you know what, here's $18. Well, thank you, that's awesome. I think this is great. It's so, I, mean, I can't imagine running in 98 degree heat. Walking to the car is hard for me. The main challenge is when we're running out here is really just staying cool and getting enough water into the system, sort of the obvious uh, things when you're out in the desert. So what we've been doing to keep cool is we've got these sponges and we're we're filling the cooler up with ice water and keeping the sponges in there and then when runners come by every couple of miles we're offering up the sponge and they're cooling themselves off uh, and then we're just stopping more frequently with with water and making sure people are taking enough uh, water into the system i think uh, for me it's like hard to run for the heat and also for the altitude where it's really high for me heat and hard to breathe today yeah I don't think I've ever run in heat like this before, to be quite honest. New Zealand doesn't get this hot. Everybody there, crazy hot! <laughs> and we are headed on uh, to be in Utah for a day or two, and then we're headed on to Colorado to go up bigger hills than I'm going up now. So I guess this is training. Welcome to the Continental Divide, the Independence Pass here in Colorado. And it's day 74 of the Blue Planet Run running around the wall. Independence Pass! Independence Pass! Ah! Colorado! <laughs> running around the wall for something in the world! 12,000 feet! Woohoo! Just came over the highest paved road in America, about 12,000 feet and change. Right now we gotta, we gotta run a really struggling with altitude. Stop I'm okay. I'm stopping every half mile now, okay? I'm okay. I just, I'm afraid that I cannot make it to the end. It's kind of been a tough run for all of us today because, you know, obviously none of us are used to running it at 10,000 feet um, elevation. But um, when you get to this sort of um, part of, of the world up this high, you've just got this incredible landscape and incredible scenery and so, so it kind of makes it all worthwhile in the end. I had a guest runner to start with me and this is a really nice program that we have. People give a donation of $100 and they run with us for 10 miles. We can only do so much on the run, you know, we're only in areas for a short time so I think this is the way that we spread the message is, you know, we get a little bit more time to talk with people and, you know, these are the new global messengers, these are the ambassadors. Uh, it's not us anymore, it's people like Jody. so I think this is fantastic. I think the word's getting out there and the people who are joining us are um, a very energetic and enthusiastic bunch and that's making all the difference.